So here we are. Uh, it is Saturday night, and uh, you know, instead of uh, instead of being out, uh, you know, out partying, uh, you know, because because we're not allowed to. I mean, I'll tell you, for I don't, I don't leave my house very much. I'm not on tour anyway. Although I will say, I saw I saw Caroline Spence posted something like, I mean. I, I'm a homebody, but like I still like to go, you know, like one or one or two places, and so this has been interesting. Uh, they, you know, been much the same. Uh, Frankie's birthday is coming up, so we did some birthday stuff today. We had a big Zoom call with like we had like at least ten relatives, maybe more, and so that was fun. It's like a neat, you know, neat thing to have technology to keep us all connected in these times. I remember I was thinking about that when I was reading Keith Richards' book. He talked about like being on tour in the 70s and he would just like occasionally call home from wherever they were in the world like here and there when he had time and uh you know it, it must have been so isolating and i remember when i first started going on the road you know that's kind of how it was uh and so it's it's cool to have you know technology uh to keep us all all connected um and so yeah so i'm gonna play some songs tonight we're gonna hang out um and i i you know i'm excited to be here on another Saturday after this. Uh, I've got a drink, my toast to you, my friends. So if you're gonna, if you're the, the type that has a drink, have a drink with us, by all means, settle in. You know, send comments, let me know uh, songs you wanna hear, uh, take a request. And so let me see, this is, this is not loading. The dog is, uh, Touch and, touch and go with her, so we'll see how she ends up. All right, there we go. Now I see the comments. All right. Cool. All right. I see one. I'm never going to spill my drink in the piano. Knock wood. Goodness gracious, God forbid. What? Oh, you want to? No, that? I don't have one tonight. Oh, uh, Blair, Blair <laughs> forgot her intro. Uh. Sorry. She was in her glory, Detroit Iron Cannon fired at 23. Had a fist full of nothing, she stepped out of that red blue dress for me. And the weather was filthy, the drinks were free, plus I didn't have no wheels. Those jukebox notes rang from her throat Saying let's run away from her Just be my partner in crime Stay up on the gas Join my getaway ride How glad he served my time Show me where it hurts, it gets worse, I kiss away your tears. I've got a car that'll take us real far, just dust in the rear view mirror. I am young, not green, dirt neath my nails, live longer than my years. That siren songs as we best move on, it's time to disappear. Just be my partner and cry Step on and guess Join my getaway ride I'd gladly serve my time If you be my partner in crimes Commit it sins Admit it We got nothing left
partner in crime, which is on my album Work. Um, and oh, so I wanted to tell you, people have been, you know, first we were kind of joking about this. So these shows, you know, they're called Live in Sweatpants. And so we've been, you know, kind of kidding about this, you know, like making Live in Sweatpants merch. And we actually found someone that could make it and get it to us. And so we are actually, there is Live in Sweatpants merch. You can pre-order it right now on the website. Uh, I encourage you uh, to do that this way. Um, you can get the size you want. You know, some people have been saying, you know, the things that they wanted, we didn't have them in their size. So we're having trouble um, uh, re-printing, uh, you know, a lot of things. So these, we're going to get printed. So you can order in your size, then you can definitely get it in your size. So I encourage you, pre-order some Live in Sweatpants merch tonight. Uh, follow the link to the website. Um, everybody, uh, let me know on, in the comments where you are tuning in. Um, Blair said, uh, somebody said, trying to buy the combo and it's not working. Let's see. Blair will work on that and I will play another song. Um, let's see. Oh, let's see this one. I know this one too.
Do you, so you, you looked at it and it seems to work now? Yeah, it's working for me. Blair said that the pre-orders, uh, 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 no, for the pre-orders, we're not going to do a, we're not going to do a code tonight. So, um, cause this is all brand new stuff. <laughs> we have to order a whole bunch of to be fair. So yeah. <laughs> we can't do a discount code for that. Um, but, uh. What have I been listening to during the quarantine? Um, I've been like, when I've been, well, today I li actually was listening to, I listened to Cat Stevens today, I listened to Jim Croce and James Taylor, so it was a lot of like 70s uh, uh, songwriters. Um, so that's, I, right now I'm on that. I've, I've been listening to a lot of things that make me feel kind of like peaceful. And so, you know, I listen to a lot of, uh, songwriters that I know uh, a lot, you know, like uh, Caroline Spence uh, and then Emily Scott Robinson and Michaela. A lot of people who have opened for me, um, you'll find uh, on my, my playlist. But today it's been a lot of classic singer songwriters, like Joni Mitchell. Um, and so that's that's today for whatever reason. That's that's what I really wanted to hear. Um, Jim Croce. I, I didn't really. Jim Croce died in a plane crash. Um, I learned that recently. Mm. And for those of you just tuning in, by the way, um, this is Live in Sweatpants. This is our 12th episode. Um, and um, uh, these are free shows. If you would like to buy a ticket, you can go on Venmo or PayPal and, uh, and do that. Um, but it is free. Um, and uh, Or you can go on my website and you can buy some merch. I encourage you to do that. My new album, Bone Structure, is on there on vinyl. Um, uh, lots of my other records are on there, on vinyl and on CD, and um, I encourage you to go on there and get them. Um, wow. Oh, oh, I keep seeing people request October Trees. I, I want to learn to play it again. It's, so it's a, it's a very challenging guitar part, and I, uh, I'm i doing, you know, stay-at-home dad stuff, and so I uh, haven't had any time, but I really want to, like, figure that one out again and learn it. Uh, it is uh, It is very hard. <laughs> that's that's why I'm not playing it. Uh, it's because I don't know how and I can't learn because I don't have time. Um, another idea we were we were kicking around this idea though um, of maybe doing um, an all covers night. We thought that that could be um, that could be kind of fun. And so if I were to do an all covers night, one would you be into that? And two, do you have covers requests? I would love to see like songs that people would like to hear me play. Um, and if you would be into that, or if you would prefer me to just kind of keep playing my own, my own songs. Um, like, I probably can't play any of them right now, because I have to learn them. I'm not one of those, like, oh, I hear, I can just hear that in my head, and, and you know, I'm also really bad at memorizing lyrics, so. Um, so let me know. I'm curious about the covers thing, and, you know, if you're into it, and if there's particular songs you would like to hear. Uh, let's see, what else did I just work out? Oh, I saw a request for this, and I know how to do it. Toast. She says. 
chokes back the tears, speaks on all her daughter's ears. Her Christmases of memories that she keeps. In the speech was sad and sweet. She kisses guests as they all leave, and hands up to. She hides her eyes, says a slow goodbye, swears by the morning light, she'll be fine. Yeah, she bites her time, though it's hard some nights. So say the Parks in his driveway and head against the steering wheel. Tries to think of what to tell his wife. And in the kitchen he explains and he swears it'll be okay. She says, You're the only thing I need in this life. So he hides. Yes, he finds his time. And though it's hard some nights, big is old sweet time, and he'll be fine. Is a wedding in Connecticut from the Atlanta album. Uh, I said I see that Katie just said she saw a My Wildest Dreams mug. Yeah, we do have just a, we have a few of those, but only only a few a few people have kind of gone nuts on those, which has been it's cool. I'm glad that people like them so much. Uh, so if you do want one of those coffee mugs, uh, we're almost out of those. I'm not saying that like please buy the coffee mugs. It's, if you want a coffee mug, you should get one now because we're not going to have any more soon. And those we can't get any more of right now. Right? Those are it's it's. The place we get those, we can't get them from right now. Mm. I see a request for one that I know, so I will, I will do it. Um, to my guitar. So, um, hi, Grandma. I see my my grandparents just said there there. Um, uh, so I am curious about this also. So, what do people? I know that a lot of y'all probably have these essential jobs where you have to go to work. Um, and I, we all thank you for going to all the, you know, every time I go to the grocery store or the, you know, whatever, anything I have to do, you know, it's like somebody's got to be there so that you can put gas in the cars and put groceries and, you know, go to the doctor and everything. So what, everybody with the um, uh, essential jobs, what are, what are your jobs? And thank you for doing them. Like what, what jobs are y'all doing out there? Um, we, we all appreciate you. So put them in the comments. Let me know, let me know what you're, what you're doing out there. Because I think that that's, I'm curious. So folks are doing, and so thank you all for that, that are going to work every day. Um, we appreciate you. And y'all keep sending um, um, comments in, um, and uh, 
I will, you know, if you have questions, uh, gotta have plumbers. If you, if you uh, don't know how much we need plumbers, you, you wait until you need a plumber, and then you'll gonna be very thankful. It's true. Tales and cigarettes and empty bars where I just sit and try to contemplate things that I can't own. And all I ask of you are honest words, simple truths, a police to lay my head. Nothing here is right Guess I shut my eyes Come to California Cause I've been lonely for you We can stay up all night Just to watch the sunrise Come to California Nothing's right without you I watch the waves disappear beneath the boardwalk and then I blink my eyes and I stare farther down the beach. And I'll get drunk this time on Boone's Farm Wine. In my defense, I would like to say, at least I wait. Um, 
you know, I've been here at home. We're trying to do, um, you know, do the, do the stay home thing. And it is, uh, you know, it's like, I'm trying to, I, was, I talked about this a little bit, like, uh, the other day. I'm trying to be really grateful, um, um, really grateful for the extra time that I'm getting to spend with my daughter. I mean, I had to spend, you know, I spent a whole month at the beginning of this year on the road. And it's wonderful. I mean, I love, I love to get to play music. But obviously, I was away from home for an entire month, missing her, you know, doing all, all kinds of stuff. And it was like, you know, I wasn't sure if she would really notice that much or care. And she, she really did. Like, when I came back, she was really... Um, it was very obvious, you know, that she had, had missed me. It was really intense, and I had, I, you know, you don't, you don't really know what they're doing. You know, she's two years old. You, know, you, you don't know how they'll feel, um, and so I was really surprised. And it was really powerful. So I'm happy that I get to be home. I mean, obviously, I, I love to get to play music. I love to get to be on the road. Um, but I have been really feeling very blessed about being here. You know, I'm trying to like, you know, that that's my glass more than half full. You know, in, in addition to the fact that you know. Uh, you know, uh, we're, uh, you know, we're living indoors and we have, you know, food and clean water and all those things that we're always grateful for. So God, I'm trying to be very great, you know, keep in mind that, you know, the other day she didn't take a nap and I was like really, really bummed because she was like, you know, yelling and freaking out. And I was like, you know, at least I get to be here with her for this day. And I feel like that, that's pretty cool. Um, uh, I'm looking at people's comments, um, to see, um, are the you have a request? Yeah, request? somebody in Instagram asked what brand the Moon Sweatshirt is, and it's called Independent Trading Company. It's very soft. The Moon Sweatshirt is Independent Trading Company. Yeah, they want to look at a size chart. And Blair says it is very soft. Yes, um, and it feels like it's very on. It's true to size. And it's true to size, she said. Okay. Blair has one. I wasn't joking. We have a lot of a lot of merch. Keep sending in requests, and also um, uh, for people. Um, for people who are, are cooking for, for Easter, tell me, tell me what you're making. I am curious. I, uh, I have been making so many things because I have been home all the time. I made baked ziti because, like I said, we've been, we're kind of celebrating Frankie's birthday for a whole bunch of days. Um, uh, and her birthday's coming up. And so we, we decided to do it this weekend so the family could you know, call us on Zoom and, and FaceTime and stuff. And um, I made baked ziti today. Baked ziti is delicious. It is... Uh, one of those things that, that you can't help but love. It is delightful. And uh, I made the most ridiculous, like, kind of kitchen sink sort of cookies with everything in them. So, um, anyway, I'm going to be making all kinds of stuff tomorrow for Easter. So what's everybody making? If, if you do Easter, what are you cooking? I see a request for this. I'm going to do it.
Guns N' Roses. That's a good request. I'm probably not going to play that solo acoustic because you need, a, you need a, a helicopter and you need to be in the desert to stand in front of a church to really play that solo. Um, but I love that song. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Um, that was In My Bones from the Atlanta album. I saw a request for that one. Um, so, um, what was I saying? Um, so, uh, in case you missed this, we have, we, we may, we are ordering live and in sweatpants merch. You can pre-order it on the website. I encourage you to do that because, um, this way you can get the sizes that you want because I know, like, we've been running out of stuff and running low on sizes and things and we're having a lot of trouble getting things reprinted. Uh, so I encourage you to pre-order your Live in Sweatpants merch. Um, it is on the website, there is a link. Also, for those of you that just got here, this is the 12th Live in Sweatpants show. I am taking requests. Um, you can, it's a free show, but if you'd like to, you can purchase a ticket on Venmo or PayPal, just, uh, you know, we appreciate that if you do. But also, yeah, stop by the website, buy the new album on vinyl. I tell people this every time, but you have to listen to an album more than 500 times on a streaming service to offer an artist the same financial support that you do from buying one copy of the album on vinyl. And so we appreciate it when you do, even if you can't listen to it. Thank y'all. Um, yeah, please keep sending questions too. Um, I am all, I'm, I'm into answering these questions, it's fun. As you send them in. Somebody asked a question about um, shoot out the lights. Shoot out the lights. My grandma, when she when she got cancer, um, she said, "I want you to write me a song." Um, and I was like, "Ooh!" And I, you know, in general, like I'm not a topical songwriter. Like I don't sit down in general and say, like, "Oh, I'm gonna write a song about such and such." You know, I generally uh, sit down and you know you know, have, like I just kind of see what happens. It's very infrequent that I sit down with a topic in mind to write about. So that was really, really hard for me uh, to do. Um, and uh, so that, you know, but that's, that's what it is about. It was about when my grandmother got cancer and thankfully she got better and that was a, that was a long time ago. Um, have I ever considered running a songwriting workshop? You know, I don't know, maybe. Um, um, but, uh, you know, I do, I do. You know, I, sometimes we have like, we have gone to colleges and, you know, given talks on songwriting and, you know, the, the business of music and things like that. So, um, uh, I, um, I, you know, like, I could see doing that, having a songwriting workshop. Dottie asked for the story behind Dodge Aries Wagon. Um, you know, when you're, my mom used to always say like, you know, don't do anything like stupid to try to impress me, you know, like don't act out because like any crazy thing you think of, you know, I've thought of, like I thought of it, I did it, like I can see directly through you. And so, you know, since the whole new album is directed at my daughter, um, I, you know, I felt like, you know, you know, that was one of the sentiments that like as a parent, I really, you know, I, I wanted to get across. Um, and so that is a story of a night uh, that we had in a, in a Dodge Aries wagon coming back from New York State, heading back to New Jersey. Uh, and uh, we, we are, it was one of those times and it was like one of those stupid things that we should have said, uh, we should have, we should have not done. And so I think that that's, you know, I think we all hope that for our kids. It's like, you know, don't, don't do any, don't do anything that I would do. Don't do any stupid nonsense, you know. Um, I see multiple requests for this one, so I'll give it a shot.
showing what I wanted to show. <laughs> and so I, I ruined it all. That's funny. I like that. Um, so anyway, uh, again, the, the Second Harvest Food Bank of Middle Tennessee, they're helping, you know, while the schools are not, you know, school kids aren't in school, these kids who get free and reduced price uh, breakfasts and lunches at school, they're helping out those kids and their families. Um, so I encourage you to check them out. They're, they're great. Um, so let's see. These things, they, the comments, they freeze. Um, but I do encourage you to keep sending them because sometimes they just go bloop. <laughs> And then, you know, the 200 of them blow by really quickly. Um, and so I'm always trying to look at them. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Love it, real life. Yeah. No, this is the real, the most real life uh, that my performances perhaps will ever be. Um, I, uh, I kind of like, uh, in some, like, part of me wants to go on tour like this, like where I, you know, sit on stage in my pajamas, like, drink whiskey and bullshit and play different songs every night, like, where, like, you know, there's, like, a 50% chance that I'm going to mess up, like, every five minutes, uh, uh, which has been, uh, you know, 
hang something on the back of the laptop. Like, like oh, like a sign. Like a sign. Yeah. For what? Well, for one of those. Oh, that's a good idea. That is probably a better idea. But we didn't have the laptop at the beginning out, so this has a ball. You know, I, I thought I, I see one that I can play. Um. Uh. I would say for me, uh, somebody asked about 26 Tuesdays. Uh, well, what happened was we had a whole bunch of music, and uh, so we decided that we would start releasing it. And so we ended up, we put out, one week we put out an, e an EP with five songs, and then for 25 weeks after that, um, uh, and then for 25 weeks after that we put out an individual recording every single week. So we ended up releasing 30 songs in total. Over those 26 weeks, we put them out every Tuesday. Um, it was fun. It was fun to do that. It was uh, interesting. Um, I see a request for this. I'll give it a shot. It's, um, 
I, uh, you know, I think there's there's a lot of songs about like the, the beginning of, of, of a relationship or the end of a relationship. And that's kind of like about the the meat of it, the middle, the, the, the like the big stuff, you know? It's like the when you're living your life, um, you know, because so, like I've said this before, you know, it's just like so many things, you know, the, the the universe, time, everything, you know, conspires to come between people when they, when they pair up, because it's, it's hard to, it's hard to live with somebody, and, you know, I, like, everybody's difficult, uh, I mean, I, I, I am, especially, I know that I am, not everybody knows that about themselves, but everybody's difficult, and so it's, you know, basically, it's like a choice you have to make every day, you know, it's like, uh, you know, love, love is an action, and so you have to kind of, uh, you know, you work at it, and, uh, Every time things pull you apart, you pull yourselves back together again. And that's kind of that's the idea of that one. You know, it's um, love. You're never done when you're in love. You always have to kind of keep. If you're if you're serious about it, you always have to keep working at it uh, for it to for it to keep being there. So um, for those of you just tuning in, this is our twelfth live and in sweatpants. This is a free show. If you want to buy a ticket, um, you can go on Venmo or PayPal and do that, but it is free. Um, um, uh, also, we are doing live and in sweatpants merch. You can pre-order it right now. I encourage you to do that so that we have your size. Because I know people have been saying we don't have everything in every size anymore, and that's because we're having trouble getting anything replenished. But if we order it, you'll get it in your size. Um, and we have lots of other merch on the website, too. We, like I said, we have a few My Wild Streams mugs. We still have a few. Uh, 10 at last count. Okay, so last player counted, we had 10 uh, My Wildest Dreams mugs. Like I said, we have all the records on vinyl. I really encourage you to buy those. That is important. Um, I see your request for this. Leather jacket, trip to Colorado, drinking from the bottle, don't waste the glass in the morning. I pray you'll still be with me by the remnants of this whiskey, she'll keep clouding up my mind. She wrote letters to the orphanage. Singing by my mother, trying to call my brother, leaving messages at home. Despite my blessings, I felt hemmed in by the city, like a bird trapped in a chimney, always crashing in the walls. And when I got back home to Georgia, she was nowhere to be found. Did she sat right down beside me? Said I should buy the next round. I would cry, but I think first things first. I probably not gone, but yeah, she's good. She don't want to need anything like me, but now she's laughing. Saying I'm so simple, my fingers trace a dimple on the right side of my spine. Her Christian kindness ran out of gas in Memphis, but her wanderlust is endless, so she kept on down the road. And I don't think that either one of us is ever going home. And I know enough about her to be sure there's things I'll never know. I can't tell you how this ends, but bet you that she could. Yeah, she's good. It's true. She's good. That is she.
She's Good, which is on my new album, Bone Structure. And somebody asked what that's about. And um, so when I left home to be a musician, you know, I, I don't even know for sure that I really was, even at that point, like certain that I was a musician, you know, like that I was gonna be a musician. Um, because I don't think like, I don't think, like being a musician isn't one of those things that you can kind of like partially do. Like if you have like a, if you're like putting your toes in or you're like, you know, half in, you're just trying to see how it is, like, somebody else is willing to starve to do it, and so, you know, you gotta, like, the, uh, the reason I ended up, you know, finding, you know, the, the, great, the success that I did find, uh, I think is, or I have found, is I think because I was all in, but, you know, when I first started, uh, you know, when I first went out on the road and stuff, I, I don't know that I knew for certain that I was, like, gonna be able to do it, and I was gonna be able to, like, stick with it. And so I was, you know, I was seeking, I was trying to find stuff out about myself and trying to find out things about the world. And so uh, I found a lot of other people in that time that were seekers. Um, and uh, so that is about one of them, but uh, you know, many, uh, you know, could have been about basically everybody I knew at that juncture in my life. Um, what does your, your face say? Oh, nothing. The, the merch, merch, everything going okay? Yeah, I just don't know why the, the link doesn't work anytime I put it in the comment or, or like in the caption for the huh. shop. But mm. if you just go to the website and find the shop button, it will take Yeah, if you it. just go to the website and click on the, the shop click button. Click around. You click around. You'll be there. Um, You'll find it. Mm. <gasps> we do have a TikTok. Somebody said you should make a TikTok. Somebody said I, I should make a TikTok. I do have a TikTok. Um, um, I'll find it. Instagram froze. Oh no, Instagram. How dare you? Whoa. What? Low battery on yours. My phone has low battery. Goodness gracious. Hold on, let's be on here. Because we're going to run out of time. By the way, I see people requesting this song, Bone Structure. I have to learn to play it on the piano again. I actually don't know how, um, but I, I will. I will learn it again. Um, Alright, so we're almost at the end here. Did, Instagram come back on? Yeah. Okay, cool, all right. Well, we're almost at the end here, so just to review, so this is our, our 12th uh, Live in Sweatpants. I'm just gonna play one more song. I um, appreciate everybody for tuning in and spending your Saturdays with me. It helps my life be a little more normal to get to play music, because that's what I normally do. And uh, I'm glad to contribute in some small way to the world, because, you know, sort of feel sometimes like I'm just like drifting around, making cookies and like staring out the window, missing my life, and so, uh, this gives me something to do, which I'm excited about. So thank y'all for coming and doing this with us. Uh, please go on the website, order some merch. Uh, if you want the Live in Sweatpants merch, pre-order it. Uh, buy an album on vinyl, buy a mug, whatever. Um, go to PayPal or Venmo and buy a ticket if you'd like. Uh, and uh, check out my new album, Bone Structure, if you haven't yet. And I will learn, I'm gonna try to learn some of these songs that I don't know. And also, please keep commenting, you know, in the, go and put in the comments uh, if we do a cover night songs you would like to hear. I'd love to hear that as well. I find that now I'm always listening. God knows I used to talk so much. The ocean doesn't need the sail. Skies them for the doves. I spoke in riddles and in rhymes, but my time taught me to simplify. And I'm not quite what I pictured you would be. You're better than my wildest dreams. I'm only
I'm not sure that could give you But every man is yours to take Cause I have never been a teacher Let's both learn from my mistakes So, I'm Ron Pope. Thank you for tuning in to Live in Sweatpants. Uh, I'm sure we'll be doing this again next Saturday. Maybe if we have some time, we'll sneak one in between uh, now and then. Uh, and please grab merch off the website if you would like to get it. Uh, I will see you all again next week. Thank you. Bye.